Are you ready? I hate to tell you this. I really hate to tell you this. Took the dog out for a walk. Today I have a lot of things to do. And I, I woke up with a really bad headache. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of waiting for the medicine to kick in. So I'm gonna go and have some coffee and eat some oatmeal. I had this like stupid realization this morning and I don't know where I've been, where have I been? I looked at the calendar and I'm like, oh my goodness, Thanksgiving's next week. Like next week. Sarah's birthday is Sunday. Daniel's birthday is Tuesday. Uh, I do have stuff for Sarah that is being shipped to Ireland, so that's good. But I meant to do it a long time ago. I don't know what's wrong with me. Daniel had a rough morning. I didn't film anything because he was he was just spastic like crazy. Something something's bugging him. And he settles out of it by the time he was on the bus, he was happy and calm. So we're trying to figure it out. It's just so intermittent and unpredictable. He could have a really good day and then all of a sudden he's screaming and it's like, I don't know. I feel like I go around and around with this, you know. He was doing better. But. And I have, to, I have to work again at night tonight, so I have a long day facing me. Yeah, anyway, whatever, gotta keep moving, right? All right, I'm outside of um, a store that I'm going in to get something that's going to Sarah. I spent the morning working on some vlogs and doing some work at home. Now I'm just traipsing around. I gotta go there, CVS, go to Big Y to get John something healthy to eat for dinner, and then get to work after I drop Thomas off at home and work until whenever. I'm not sure how much vlog of home I'll get because I'm at work. I got here at 3.30. It's 5.10 now. Look how dark it is. And I told Larry I would close the office today, which technically we close at 6, but I think I'm going to stay here late. I have piles and piles of things to do. I got over here, I got this, all these things to do. And, and you know, this is kind of how my life is. And I do the stuff that I do during the day. I had a lot of running around to do, a lot of errands to run, medication to pick up, stuff to mail at the post office. I didn't get to the grocery store. I probably do that on the way home after working. And then tomorrow I have to come back, do this again, I think. Right, see see what he needs. Friday I'm what was oh Friday I have to go to the dentist to have my teeth cleaned because it's time. And I really need to have my hair done because I've got gray. A lot of gray. You can't see it because I have blonde hair and so when you're like like my natural color is like a a, a darker version of what you're looking at, but it's blonde. It's just that the gray mixes in, can't really see it, but yeah. It needs to be done. It needs a cut. Hopefully, I want to have it done before the holidays. I hadn't had it done since August. But I, it's easier for Daniel and me, and I don't even know if I have a nurse, because sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So yeah, this morning I was like da 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 da, and all of a sudden, oh my God, Thanksgiving is next week? Yeah, I think I said that earlier, but yeah. So I have a lot to do, <laughs> but this year my very sweet sister Heather is going to come over and stay over the night before and give me a hand um, getting things ready, which is wonderful because it's always a scramble, you know, to, to get the house cleaned and it's good because it gives you a reason to get everything in order. Uh, you know, usually if your house is kind of messy, you're like, well, I'll keep it clean, but you know, if I'm not having a company, I really don't mind if it's a little cluttered. At least when you're having company, you're like, you know, I really want my house to look kind of nice because first of all, I'm having people over. Second of all, it makes me feel better. So yeah. Anyway, it's not even easy to do. Like you got to kind of read it and then like try to understand what they're asking for, you know, for you to do. So I'm doing that and I'm applying for some other programs and some energy assistance programs. And uh, one of my, my caseworkers just like, let me just give you all this stuff and apply for it and see if you qualify. You know, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But some of it you've never heard of, so you might as well try. And so, yeah. So be proactive, look, research, 
you never know what there is that might actually be able to work in your favor so that's what I'm trying to do about the election to be honest with you deep inside I'm freaking freaked out but I'm trying to like do what everybody says and and I'm fine and then I'm really fine and then something comes up on my 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 Twitter feed and then I'm like oh my god and then I'm not fine and then I'm better and it's like I don't know nobody really knows nobody knows what's gonna happen nobody knows and some things are kind of happening that are just freaking people out even more so so if you're one of my Facebook friends, forgive me for being so like, I'm fine, I'm not fine. Look at this tweet, look at this article. I'm fine, I'm not fine, I'm not, I'm like back and forth. Really, I'm fine. As long as I keep busy and like I'm working and I'm industrious and you know, pushing myself, I'm okay, okay. I <laughs> don't have a life other than home and here and here and home and whatever little things John and I do on the weekends. I mean, that's it, you know, we're both so encompassed by the, uh, the restrictions on our life. So, you know, it's just what it is. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So Turkey Day is coming and I'm happy I'll have my sister with me. It'll feel like when I was a kid we're kind of looking forward to it and so Sarah won't be home but Heather will be with me and that'll be nice okay back to work I go I got one two three four five things to do here six six you know probably okay you guys I I'm still working I just had one really this is really important actually I have to talk about something it's it's really 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 important and it really impacts a lot of lives. Um, are you ready? I hate to tell you this. I really hate to tell you this, but this is what the new Starbucks cup looks like. This is very important news, okay? So, while you're looking at this, I want you to take note of how lovely it is and how precious it is and it's do we all like it this year? I don't know. I love it. I think it's really sweet. It looks, you know, it reminds me of a Christmas sweater and it makes me think of homey, comfy, cozy s snow and Christmas. And I have these little, um, you know, little warm, cozy things. And this one says, crafted by hand and heart. So that's kind of the theme, I guess, this year. It's like handcrafted. Do you like it? This is really important. I need to know. Do you like the new Starbucks cup? Do you drink Starbucks? I do sometimes. Not as much as I want to, but sometimes. What do you think? At first I thought it was those green ones, but those weren't the, cu the Christmas cup. This beautiful thing of beauty is the Christmas cup. Little reindeer, little snowflake, little coziness. Fill it up with your favorite bevy, you know. What did I have in this one? This was a pumpkin spice. It just made my whole night complete. No whip with an extra shot. Skim milk. That's how I take my pumpkin spice. Well done, Starbucks. Well done. Your Starbucks cup. What do you think? Do you like it? Or not? What are you doing, you guys? Not good? Windows open in here. Thomas, go to bed. It's late. The day's over. Time to go to sleep. The stars. Henry, you are a doggy. Woof, 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 woof. Go to go to bed, Thomas. I love you.